I'm mad about that. I was sorry about that bitch, but I'm mad about that. Bitch, I'm mad about that. This bitch must take me for a bro. Bitch, I'm mad about that. Okay, y'all. We going. We're on our way. Oh, I'm blonde. Yes. So, I bleached my hair. Um, long story, because I had, yeah. It, it doesn't have toner in it. Because I had to bleach again this morning. Because I tried to just bleach it once. And I'm going to have to just... Y'all see these jeeps acting up? Am I in the way? Y'all see these jeeps acting up? Um, yeah, I could never... We got to bleach it twice for the rest of our lives. So... This is what my hair looks like. I'm excited. Yum is in tow. He's in the front seat. Hi, Yummy. Okay. Anyway, y'all can see the Jeeps. We, we pulling out, like, literally. I'm not about to be in the front. So. All right. I'm like the fourth Jeep. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Jeeps. So, yeah, we're just trailing each other. I need to turn my group notifications on. To see like the stops and that's how we communicate and I always have my notifications on silent. So I actually need to turn them on while we at this light. Now I don't know how to unmute it. Oh, unmute. Boom. Okay. So now these are our pictures, y'all. We took together our little group pictures. Y'all can't see shit. Anyway, we on the way. I am the stuck the, the fucking fourth Jeep in line. Oh my god, I'm the fourth G. Wait, one, two, rock, three, four. Ah! Girl. Okay, anyway, I'm finna go, y'all. I'll check back in. We ain't nothing going on. Um, y'all probably gonna get clips of me singing and whatever. Updates on how this ride is going. Yummy has never been in the car this long. I hope we stop soon. I don't know if I'm gonna ride with them the whole way, cause the first time I went to Daytona and was riding with the Jeeps, uh, they like it's um was about to say it's a six and a half hour drive and it took these mfs like 12 hours because they stopped multiple places to pick up more jeeps like we go to through augusta i think to pick up the augusta jeepers and just jeepers from all over a link with us and you know and then we socialize while we're there for a minute and stuff like that i don't know if i'm doing that because i don't really want to be in the car like that but we'll see now, our first stop was at bucky's but they all they got is breakfast food i didn't even know bucky's like served breakfast so this is a brisket taco I want the brisket sandwich, but they ain't have it. They had croissants, tacos, biscuits with brisket, eggs, whatever. Yum. I'm so glad we stopped trying to eat this. Well, yeah, we not gone because he went right in my face. No! You mm -mm -mm. good too. Y'all hear this dog, Lord, I wanted Chick-fil-A so bad. I waited all week and didn't have Chick-fil-A because I just knew I was going to get it today. I guess not. She say I'm a dog, but it takes one to no one. All right. I, I keep it moving. Fuck was not important. So y'all, let me tell y'all about Daytona. I'm here, by the way. Let me tell y'all about Daytona. I, but this is my third year in a Daytona, Daytona Jeep Beach weekend. The first year we got this Airbnb, it was amazing. Do y'all remember what happened the second year? Because honestly, if not, I, I'm going back on that video and plugging it here. And it's basically like an Airbnb horror story. Y'all, we got to this Airbnb wasn't there literally five minutes before there was a roach on the wall a roach on the wall there was another dead roach there was a roach dead like in the shower track like when you pull back the glass the house i wish i would have took pictures but i have this one video that's funny i don't know what it sounds like but i'll put it right here because like, rock so you see the blankets man next to the big ass fucking <laughs> dead roach nigga do you see this shit Nigga, as he lay. <laughs> <laughs>
laughing. We're laughing because it's funny, but it's not. It gets bad, but we're just like laughing at first. Um, the beds were literally like an inch off the floor. There was no box spring. There was like a mattress on top of a piece of plywood, like on a wooden slats. It just, it was horrible. The, they had, it's like they was revamping like this little small space and trying to turn it into something. One of the bedrooms had a bathroom and it was a closet and they put like the little showers that be like in the RVs and stuff or whatever in it. It was just not good. Then we found out the refrigerator, we tried to get like, you know how the refrigerators have like the water and the ice dispenser. We took, I don't know, getting some water or whatever. And when you try to put the, the, the cup up to the water thing, you know how the water shoots out or comes down? The damn water was shooting up, like, out of the refrigerator from the bottom. Because I don't mean, you just got to see it. So, yeah, they don't have good um, accommodations. So, like, hotels. I'm a hotel snob because I used to work in travel. Fun fact, if you didn't know. And, like, where I worked, we got sent to, like, five-star hotels. Like, six hundred dollars night hotels. And I'm not saying they got to be that, but... I don't do holiday ends and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I just, mm -mm. and it's pretty much all Daytona has. And what made it worse, like the few hotels that they do have that's nice or on the nicer end, because none of them is full stars, baby. <laughs> anyway, they don't take pets. So I had to get what I could get because I wanted to bring my dog. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe never again. Anyway, the hotel I met is called the Streamline Hotel. And it's like where NASCAR started. So it's kind of cool. The lobby is really nice. The hotel room is, okay. I had a double bed because y'all know my best friend supposed to come with me and I was like well she's not coming so I'm just gonna get a king bed and maybe I should have kept a double bed because this room is fucking tiny. I'm not gonna be in here. I'm just in here to sleep. Honestly even though I bought all my stuff in here um I didn't even tell y'all because of the situation going on with the other friend I might be staying at the Airbnb with my other friend and I hate if they will take dogs. I just hate to move all my stuff but be here um anyway it's fine i'm gonna show y'all yum is in the cage because when i went back downstairs to get his cage and left him in his room shit on the floor and i knew he was i knew he was and shit it right on the floor anyway y'all when you first walk in like i want y'all to see how small this room is so this is the door like i'm at the door feet at the door from the door from the door y'all from the door but it's fine. It's clean. Because I'm that's a thing for me. Like, I really do not like. I don't like Airbnbs or hotels, honestly. Because I just feel like they're all disgusting. And then if they're not, like, luxury or, like, four stars at least, really disgusting. I hate hotels. So, nothing here. There's young in the middle of the floor. This is the bathroom. Again, y'all, nothing to show. I, I'm kind of embarrassed to even show y'all this. But... The best thing here is like a Hilton and not like the nice Hiltons with the regular Hiltons, but they don't take dogs. And I wanted to be on the beach because that's where everybody's going to be. So I wanted to be close in the vicinity. The stuff over here, it's, it's okay. Like it's, it's okay. I do like this little mirror right here. I thought that was cute, but uh, it's me. It's me. Hi, we made it. So, I just do not like hotels. I think they're gross. This looks pretty clean though. But see, like y'all, I fucking hate hotels. I just do. Last year was an emergency situation. We almost didn't have nowhere to stay. So I don't even remember what hotel we stayed at. I think it was like a Holiday Inn. Mm. Okay, it's gonna have to be all right, cause girl. I don't even know what the Airbnb look like. It might not look no better. I'm about to go. Because I'm not sitting in here. Um, see what they doing. Probably going to eat. You know, you're just going to have to make yourself comfortable. I don't know what to tell you. And I just thought about it. This probably was a bad idea. Because he's going to be freaking out. If he pees and poops in the cage and get all on him. I don't. That's the trip. I'm not taking no smelly dog in the, in the Jeep. Like, I don't. He better keep it together for his sake. Because at least tomorrow when we go to the beach, he can come. Today, y'all, why is the car packed up? We're leaving the hotel. I got a story time real quick. So, looks like we're not. What we'll fail? I don't know. Looks like we're not gonna be alone. 
Um, y'all know about the friend that couldn't come. I'm just being discreet because, again, people might not want their business out like that. I, I don't want to be telling stuff that people might not want out. But the friend that was supposed to stay with me and Rock, y'all know, couldn't come because of the situation. So I went to Rock's Airbnb. And, you know, I seen it. It was nice. It was way nicer than my hotel. And I don't want to be a fucking loan. So even though, like, I was kind of excited about it, I tried to hype myself about it. If the hotel room was what I was used to, like when I did my solo trip to Mexico, or maybe not even all of that, but just a little bit more inviting than maybe, but because it was literally like a bed in this little closet, and I wasn't really feeling it, uh-uh. So, basically, I was just like, well, can I stay here? That friend that couldn't come can now get their money back, because I'm basically paying for them, and it works out for everybody. So, I'm going to the Airbnb. I had to put Yum's crate and everything back in here and this child i have a headache i probably need to stop at walgreens and give me some advil or something because it's gonna be a long night we have our little social outing to go to uh, when i get back i need to shower oh lord with my hair i can probably forget about trying to do something to this face i don't know because it took me too long and now it's gonna take me 12 more minutes to get back i just don't know what type of time um i mean i, I have my own vehicle i slick could just meet them up there really can I might do that. I might be like, y'all go ahead and I'll just drive up there. Perks of having your own vehicle. I don't know. Because I might, yeah. But anyway, I wanted to just come and update y'all. So I got this room. It's okay. The, the Airbnb is nice. I do have some room. The room I have is like two twin beds in there. I'm not tripping. Like, girl, it was still better than the option that I had. Mostly just because didn't want to be by myself in that little box. And that hotel room was actually so like where NASCAR was created. And what that means is the person that I guess came up with NASCAR because they said that he, I guess, whatever, did something like at the rooftop, like so there. But that hotel is like from the 1930s. Of course, they have redone things and all of that, but the building is still the building. So it was okay. They, the lobby was really nice. I didn't show y'all. I meant. Like, is anything open? Because this wind, I meant to show y'all like a little tour, but it doesn't matter now because we're not staying there. Yeah, I feel a headache coming on. But I'm I'm happy. Like, even though like before we left Atlanta, it seemed like everything just fucking fell apart. Now it feels like things are coming together. So even with the drive not being as bad as like I thought it was gonna be, and the living situation like working out and all of that even the money because I'm going to pay $300 to stay in this room. My hotel room was like 770 something, but they already charged me the first night, so I got charged 147 and I had a balance of like 6 something, but I won't have to pay that. So, I could have been saving way more money, but now I'm only saving. Ooh, y'all know I'm bad at math. I think like I paid one, I got paid three. I'm saving like 250. Maybe a little more. Which is still great. Awesome. I can eat it in oysters. Y'all know I ain't shit. Y'all know I ain't shit. Y'all know I ain't shit. I did not vlog at all yesterday. Yesterday was wild. Yesterday was wild. I wanted y'all to see. I ain't got no full length mirror. This rock room. Just have to bend it down. Look at these shoes. Chunky. I like them. So... Yesterday was crazy. Like, I'm sorry. It, it really wasn't even gonna be nothing for me to vlog because I wasn't in, I was not, what's it called? I was in coherent. I was, yeah, I wasn't coherent. So it didn't want nothing for me to vlog. Y'all know when these come out, what's up? So we about to go to the Jeep show. I'm definitely gonna vlog today. Um, we're gonna go to the Jeep show and then go to the beach. I'm gonna take this off my head right before we leave the house. Ooh, girl, hold on. Put these on. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, y'all didn't see the back. Girl, no, hold on, because I'm about to put this camera somewhere. Oh, perfect. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think y'all seen the bottles of them. I was too far. Y'all, I took my doors off all by myself. Only the ones in the front. Um, I hope Ye know how to act. I don't want to move his car seat. But yes, I did it all by myself. I'm excited. Y'all, Ye is not having this. This is the uh, like the Jeep car show. He is not having this. We about to leave, we can't stay. We usually stay for a while, but he is pulling. He ain't got his harness, he's hot. He looking for shade, look, he not. This is the four by E Jeep. 
is really cool because it's electric and if you ever see one you'll know because they have like the blue detail y'all see y'all do not give a fuck about no jeeps i know y'all So like the blue here and here. And then in the seats. I never seen the inside of an electric one. This is a Rubicon. If you know, you know. But I love that blue stitching. They're all they always have the blue detailing. I don't know what that is. Like this screen. I've never seen it before. I wonder if it's stock. This is beautiful. Oh, you got the one touch roof. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't appreciate it. Then you can register to win a Jeep Beach Jeep. This is so badass. I wouldn't want that Jeep Beach on there, but I like like the color and the wheels. Jeep Beach Edition. We're gonna have to go. He is not like look at him. See, right over the Jeep. He too hot. Like I can't have my dog out here over here because I wanna see Jeeps. Y'all, this day has been a mess. Like, what did she do with last time we see her she was getting ready to go somewhere i went to the jeep show as i showed as i told y'all um yum yum couldn't handle it so i caught myself going to the beach and then it started pouring down raining so we have a meet and greet later like at a venue like we're supposed to be eating and stuff and like meeting with the other jeepers from like the other areas and i was like well forget it i haven't eaten nothing all day and it's 2 20. so i was like well i'm probably gonna go to this place that i went to last time i was here called senior tacos um and get something to eat but get ready for the meet and greet so i'll be ready by the time everybody gets back here because i don't even know where rock is like i have come to the conclusion that this is a trip and i'm kind of just <laughs> doing my own thing <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna go give me something to eat and make sure i'm just ready to go to the meet and greet because yeah it's not supposed to rain anymore today. Y'all know I took my doors off, so I'm gonna be mad if it do. Mostly because it's gonna be worse because it's gonna be nighttime. Like when it's raining now, it really don't matter because it's warm outside. And like I had bathing suit on anyway, so it's like, you was about to get wet, right? <laughs> um, even though I didn't get to see the beach, which means Jim yeah, still didn't get to see the beach, but he'll see it tomorrow. I hope it doesn't rain tonight because I'm gonna be wet and cold, but I do have jeans on. Where do y'all see these jeans? Cause yeah, their jeans are right, but they are missing fabric, a lot of fabric in big areas. So I decided while I was sitting here and I basically got time on my hands to put a little makeup on. I haven't been wearing makeup. I mean, it'd be hot, but because it's about to calm down, you know, like cool down. And when the sun is out, it's hot. But when the sun ain't, it's cool. And this. The sun will be going down in a couple hours. So by the time I go get this taco, I'm pretty sure they got margarita, margaritas. I'm gonna just sit there and chill and eat. And then we'll see. I knew this was gonna be this type of vlog. I told y'all like when shit is be up in the air and it's not like a, a real planned itinerary, vlogs be chaotic AF. Cause I don't know, like we just planned it by ear. Like how, oh, let me tell you how I wasted $40 today because um i went to the jeep beach like the car show had to leave like 30 minutes in uh then i went to the beach i actually went to the beach and like was driving on while i paid to get on just to not but just to, as soon as i got on like with my jeep it started uh raining like real bad so i was like forget that i'm about to go I'm not about to sit here and people was leaving anyway like the people that i knew because they had been there all day and i was just not getting there because i went to the car show like um our crew don't be going to the car show because they don't come there for jeeps like me and rock do they come to turn up so by the time i got there they was over it anyway because they had been there for hours and then the weather was breaking so yeah i wasted forty dollars today
y'all, it's the next day. I'm sorry I haven't, like, it's really, it's hard for me to vlog, because, like, when we go to events, like, the music is blasting, and all I can really do is just show y'all, like, montage footage. But I can show y'all my outfit of the day, kind of. Actually, hold on. If I set it up right here, y'all, I'm like five shots. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm like five shots in, by the way, sorry. This is so not me, but hey y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this damn swimsuit. I have on this green, like fashionable swimsuit and these cover up pants. Oh my God, I am two sheets to the wind. Is that the saying? Come on y'all, we gotta go to this boat. Y'all cannot see me. We're about to go get on the boat. <laughs> I'm trying to hold this shit together. <laughs> Yes, put it's, your hands in it. Go ahead. It's giving what the fuck it was supposed put to be. Put your hands in it. Something. That's what you wanted to grab? A fry. Start with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my mama. Oh, I'm about to get Let me have a voice. Oh my God, here we go again. I just wanted to come and say that I'm on my way home. I know that I did not get anything. Like, I barely filmed, but I cannot say that I'm sorry because I had the time last night. Not last night, damn. I had the time. I just had the time. My voice is gone. Y'all seen I got my. Oh, oh my God, y'all, them oysters was so good. That was the highlight of the trip. I usually get them more than once, but no. I'm kind of sad that this is funny. So the whole time that I was there, I did not, my feet did not touch any sand. Long story short, it kept raining. The times when I would try to go to the beach, like meet up there, cause I was doing other stuff. It would start pouring out raisin, so I didn't go. I got on a boat yesterday to go to an island. But by the time we got there, the tide was coming in and the island was shrinking. Like the water was coming up. So I just ended up staying on a boat yesterday. I had so much fun, but like I said, I really, half the time I was like intoxicated, slumped over somewhere. And the other time it's like so much music and stuff. There's no way I could do anything, but like if y'all be rolling and there's nothing else going on, but just the Jeeps. So it's like, what do you be rolling? So I'm so sorry for that, but I can't be sorry. I'm sorry. Look, just stop saying you're sorry. Look, I'm rambling. It was a great time. I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I didn't let my social anxiety keep me from going. I had so much fun. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, I have no idea why I'm going to even post this vlog, to be honest. I didn't even get, like, no content pictures or anything. I wanted to take, you know, pictures on the beach while I didn't get to go to the beach. All I really got is, like, dump quality footage. I didn't get to do much. This was not a vlog. This was clips. I was better off, and this is what I wanted to do, but y'all know, like, I try to do some content for YouTube, like, that's my main thing. But I was better off just getting, like, clips on my phone and doing a voiceover for TikTok or Instagram. But, I mean, anyway, I have nothing else to say, and I don't have a voice. I'm sitting here waiting for McDonald's to serve lunch. McDonald's, I know. Um, I thought I could have sworn lunch started at 10. Because when I was a kid and I always wanted breakfast, it was over by 10. It's 10.54, they told me 11 o'clock. When? As bad as I wanted to just chill today, Lord knows I wanted to chill. I forgot it was Monday. I woke up and thought it was Sunday. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm about to just lounge for a minute. No, you're not because it's Monday. So I went to the gym, I got samples that I have on, I'm about to talk to y'all, well, I, I'll put the bra on to show y'all, but I don't have the bra on, this is just a regular bra. I got a new shipment in, I'm excited, but like, yeah, I'm tired. My voice is trying to get better, I need to go to the grocery store, we don't have food. I messed around and had Ethiopian last night, 
And it was so good. Like, I had leftovers this morning that I'm like, damn, run it back. I might have to run that one back real quick. <laughs> anyway, y'all. No, before I show y'all, talk about this. I know y'all see this color. I'm going to put the top on and come back. Y'all, look at this. Now, this is a light color and I'm dirty. I don't know how I got dirt on it or like, but it's, I guess, moving those boxes up from the shipment. The leggings is dirty. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But this is the bra. Y'all see the little logo right here. I've never did a bra like this with all of this. Because I feel like y'all wouldn't want y'all backs out. So this is a very different bra. I love it though. I still feel like even though your back is out, it's not, it's still not too much going on. Because y'all know some of the bras need to be like one line or something. And it's, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't look bad. Y'all let me know what y'all think. So then we have the leggings. Now, I wore these to the gym to make sure I wasn't gonna be pulling up on them. They are thick, y'all know I don't play. Are they squat proof? I feel like they are. Oh, I just did all that. Y'all, I am so dirty, can y'all see this? I have, which is crazy, it's like, right, that, that is gross, oh my God. Anyway, sorry. Um. It's all right here. Like, what is my hands got on it? Anyway, so this is the legging. They're scrunch legging with the highs right here. Again, very good um, waist coverage. The only thing is, uh, of course, we would not be having no middle seam. I don't do, I don't play with no middle seam. Why would you do that? It is so ugly. Why is there a middle seam? Like, why would anybody create a middle seam? That's hideous. Like, it throws the whole thing off. And this is the view, like, full in the mirror. This color is so pretty. So, I will have to redo this sample. Um, because I want to try to do, just to make it a little bit different. Because I'm trying to get, like, different. So, we have the potential leggings. Y'all know is the thick, uh, compressor waistband with the drawstring. Then we have, I never told anybody the name. Purpose is the one that's in there. The extra high waist that we all been waiting for. So this would be, I'm not going to tell you the name, but it's another one. So I want to make sure the design is different. So that's why I did the scrunch. And I want to probably try to do like a cross waistband. But this is super cute. If it didn't have markings all on it. Now let's open the boxes. I'm so excited about this shipment. Y'all haven't seen the colors or nothing. It's the first. I might try to get this to go live by Friday. Okay, y'all. If these leggings wasn't dirty before, they're definitely about to be filthy now. Because I'm on this damn floor. Ugh. I'm only going to put it right here. Y'all, I do not feel like when you get through stuff, I love new shipment, of course. But, like, all the work you have to do, like, the pictures. The promotion on um, social media, the website, because you got to post it on there with the description and the sizes and like, doing inventory. Y'all, it's not fun. It's not fun. Like, a restock is so much better, but because we rebranded, like, it's not going to do no restock no time soon of anything because we're getting all this new stuff out. What is this? Are these the leggings? Yes, and this is my size. So boom, y'all, it's the high-waisted leggings we've been waiting for. And this is my first time seeing them with the logo because I only have the sample. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little boy's gone. Oh my gosh. So these have, which make these cooler. So if you shop the bash, feel like classic leggings, right? These are better. And those were insane, but these are better. The material is thicker. Not only is the waistband high, but it has a small elastic band like right here to make sure that it stays. So like to show you. So the other leggings didn't have this, right? Which is fine. It doesn't really do much. But like maybe if you bend, perfect. Y'all see how it kind of like rolled up a little bit, which, you know, it ain't a big deal. But this is there to kind of just make sure it's going to stay put. I love these. Oh, my God. Y'all, here is the bra. Again, I've never seen it with the logo on it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I am so excited. I love getting new stuff. <laughs> Cause eh, eh, ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all look at this. This is so cute. It, she is like a dusty pink kind of purple. Oh my God. These leggings. Now, mind y'all, I've never seen these in either color but black. My sample was black. I feel like the seam is low, but that could be just me being short. They look good. Y'all. Look at this. This material is a new material that I've never used before. And it is so soft and stretchy. Like, I really love this. Now, this is the only one I'm gonna put on because it's like repetitive. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all the other colors. So this is it zipped up or you can zip it down. I love this bra tank. Y'all know like I'm a tank girl because some people don't like you know, bras really cut off like up here and I don't like to show too much mid-drift so I like to have like a peekaboo type of thing so my leggings are high-waisted and the bras are like kind of like considered long line a bit. I love this. Now I want y'all to see what I was talking about like with the elastic waistband. Bend over. It's not going to fold up like the other one because it can't because it's a band. You see, I'm pushing it down and it's not going to stay because it's a band. So that's why... I added that instead of it just being the fabric, which it was okay if you know it folds, but this literally can't because the band, like, well, I guess if you fold the whole thing, it'll stay, but you get what I'm saying, like, you just bending over is going to be okay. I don't know what I'm going to name this. This is so cute. Now, I'm going to have to ask her to send me a swatch card because I didn't, I don't think I thought that it was this pink. I'm good with the pink. But the blue, I think I definitely thought it was deeper. So this is the blue. And then this is the black, of course. Um, this one is defective. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm, this is more like a periwinkle kind of. No, it's not because periwinkle is kind of purple. But I just thought this blue was deeper. I'm pretty sure I did. So I would like to have a swatch card so that I actually know. And then I'm about to put y'all. We have basically... The tees. This is my first time having a full length, like slouchy, baggy, or whatever tee. Um, you definitely are gonna have to wear something under it. It is a kind of like see through -ish material. It's not, but it is. What am I talking about? Well, I could see the green under it because I tried it on. I know y'all can't see nothing. How the lighting is. Um, when I had my green on, I put this over it and I could see like it through, but I don't know if it's because it's bright green. And then it has the highest thing in the back. I'll put it on. So this is an extra large because I wanted it to be a little slouch-like. Um, I don't feel like it gave you that much room because the material is clingy. Now, would you want to wear it with this? No, because it is. But if you had on a regular sports bra, you wouldn't see this right there. But yeah, you can definitely see this pink through it. So this is probably just an option if you don't like... To show. I do not like that. You would definitely have to put on. You gonna zip it? You, mm -mm. cause I don't want to see that through it. But you get it. It looks better unzipped than it was zipped. It's just a t-shirt. But I wanted to have this option for people who are like, bro, I don't want nothing clinging on me. My mama likes long covering things. If you get what I'm saying, like give me some coverage. This is the design. It's kind of like a scoop at the bottom. Just trying to unfold it. So, again, this is an extra large. If you want it real baggy, then, yeah, you know. Um, it's just a little bit of a bag. But it does cover the stomach area for people who like to cover it in the back. It's long. We'll see how this goes if I'll do some more of these. Because, dearly, this was just an option for, I guess, people like my mama. Because I don't, yeah, this takes away from the cuteness to me. But if I was going to wear it, though, I would just... Kind of like pull it up so that it's not covering on the sides and like kind of just like draping the front a little bit but i don't even feel like you need to do that because of 
how the material is made. Like if you just don't pull it over your legs and just let it do its own thing, um, or you know, it doesn't really slouch over too much. Or you could even tie it because the material is so stretchy and it has that like loop thing. It's very easy to just grab it and tie it if you want. You know, tuck it, make it into a crop like tea. Damn, my plants are all in the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I prefer a crop type of thing, so I'll wear it like this. This is actually really cute. Okay. But I'm y'all, do I sound bad with my voice? I feel like it sounds really bad and it did be quiet. Did I get a tan? Cause I wasn't out on the beach in Daytona. Unfortunately, I did get on a boat. I feel like I'm darker. And the only reason I really noticed it is because my hair looks extremely bright. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to shut up, raspy ass voice. Okay, y'all, so I went to the grocery store to get me some groceries. I think that I'm gonna get my meal prep again, um, but they either come on Wednesdays, but you have to order by Saturday, or Friday, but you have to order by Tuesday. Today's Monday. So I need to order it tomorrow if I'm gonna get it, but that was, I really liked it. It was great, it was lovely. Um, so yeah, but I had to go to the grocery store in the meantime, because if it don't come till Friday, what I'm eat. So y'all already know, Dave's killer bagels and the cinnamon raisin is my favorite i don't give a damn about no booming berry y'all remember booming berry booming berry is not hitting on this i have one of these every day for breakfast with egg whites bacon and cheese y'all when my mama was here she made pancakes and eggs and stuff and when i tell y'all i figured out how good eggs like regular eggs taste that she has a few left in here and i'm gonna eat them I don't know, y'all. Since I'm not counting calories no more, I might go back to eggs. It's three eggs in here. Y'all, I'm sorry, but... When I first started having egg whites, I was like, oh, it tastes the same. I don't know what made me say that. But after continuously eating them, like, there's nothing wrong with them. They're not nasty. But it's not like an egg. Anyway, I got my sriracha mayo. Because y'all remember last time I couldn't find it, I had to get that Peronet's. I love this damn sriracha mayo. It's undefeated. It's like one of my favorite condiments. Speaking of condiments, so I don't go to Walmart. Like, I just don't. But when we was in Daytona, we went to Walmart. And I don't know if it's just the Daytona Walmart, but Walmart got so much stuff. Like, they had so many different condiments. It was insane. And I want to go for that. And they also had, I think it was so many drinks, juice. It's really the condiments. The condiment section blew me away. I had not even seen half that stuff. So I'm going to check a trip to Walmart. But I ain't getting no meat there. Condiments. Maybe something else, but not meat. Anyway, I got some hoagie bread for sandwiches. Y'all can tell I'm really not counting calories. That does not mean I'm going crazy. But like I told y'all, the framework is three meals a day. 600 calories. Uh, could be a little bit over because three meals a day at 600 is only 1800 and I want to eat at least 2000 so there's a 200 you know leeway um but this is 250 calories for the bun and the bagel is 270 so I mean it's right around we'll see but I really want to make like a good sandwich I was using the wraps and they were okay but I bought the bread so I'm not saying I'm gonna stay with the bread but this week we got the bread, then some more carbs. I got these little pita naans, Nina naan garlic for this red hummus. I'm going through a red hummus thing because of kava. So that's a cute little snack. Um, Cause y'all know sometimes I don't be hungry to have like a meal. So I could still do that. Not really happy about the protein content with this as a snack, but mm. then I got the lettuce for the sandwiches. They didn't have the shredded one. So I just got that. Onions for sandwiches. Uh, I got jerk turkey breast for sandwiches. I got lean ground beef because that's my meal until Friday. And bacon because I have bacon with my bagels um, every morning. Y'all know I don't typically buy bottled water because I use my 
water out the fridge, but I got some little Fiji's because I was feeling like when my mama was here and she had water. I love just going in there and grabbing it out and not having to fill up a cup. I know that's trifling, but y'all know, convenience girl. My mini maize zero sugar to put my Kool-Aid packs in. Um, ketchup, because I ran out. And y'all was telling me, well, some, somebody told me thank you for putting you on to hum. It was really good. So I got some more hum. Um, I only had hum once. It was the mango passion fruit. This is blueberry mint. I'm excited because I love mint stuff. And this is strawberry blossom. Um, they don't have Holly Pop at Publix, only Poppy. So I have to get that probably after boxing class on Wednesday. And I got some of their pre made meals. This is a Korean style meatball salad. So it's some meatballs. It's like the little cabbage shred with some rice. And this is 450 calories. This is a cute little lunch, well over 600. And then I got my potatoes that I usually get. I don't know why I feel like I did a lot today and I didn't do nothing. Today seems so off, but I'm in a really good mood, so we'll just keep that. I'm getting, am I getting Ethiopian tonight? I feel like I am. I feel like I am. <laughs> the Ethiopian food has touched down. If you live in the Atlanta, Georgia area, Desta is the best Ethiopian food. I'm about to eat, I'm so excited. I'm about to try this blueberry mint kombucha from hum hum don't let me down now that's good pretty good y'all i know that the last two vlogs ain't been vlogging i did the best i can my instagram subscribers know why <laughs> i've been vlogging like that in daytona because they have seen behind the scenes Okay, baby, girl, she was doing stuff that the vlog could just not know about. Anyway, this is my food. Oh my God, it's lamb, cabbage, and miser. It's um, red lentils, it smells amazing, complete with the injera bread. Y'all, I did not need this. I literally just had this yesterday. <sighs> Bro, I told you the leftovers were so good. Y'all was like, run it back. You just pick up some meat with your little bread, some cabbage. I would get the red lentils, but I'm like opening them. Y'all, this is one of like the best things ever. Besides sushi, I'm really craving sushi. So, before I let y'all go, I just want to say. I digital plan this month and did my vision board. I do it every month and like my goals. And so then for the month previous, which was April, you look back at your highlight of the month, you know, what was your challenge of the month, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to say the beginning of April, things looked really dreary. Um, I don't even know if y'all remember, but I did vlog me doing my April mood board and like all this stuff I was just talking about. And I was talking about how like I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't in the mood. Blah, blah, blah. But April was a really good month for me. Ending it on a note that I did like with the trip and the trip I was worried about it and it was just such a great trip was one thing. But like I literally started therapy this month. I got a deal with Savage X Fenty this month. I was super excited about all of that. There we go with that super. It was something else too. Can't remember. I, I went to my first event alone, the streetwear market thing this month. It was just a lot that happened this month that was really good, even though I wasn't like really excited about the month initially. But it's fine and it all worked out. And it's just a reminder that everything really do be working out in the end, girl. You just got to keep going, girl. You got to keep going. So, with that being said, I'm going to holler. The next vlog y'all see is not going to be dry, I promise. I'm going to get back on my shit. So, I holler.